The European Parliament has a new president. A robust majority of deputies from the 27 member states of the European Union voted for the German Christian Democrat Hans Gert Pertering. His position as president of the legislature, the highest post in EU diplomatic protocol, represents 500 million European citizens' interests in dealings with the heads of state and government, whose council presidency is also in German hands. As president of the parliament, the Christian Democrat conservative Pertering succeeds the Spanish socialist Josep Borrell, who chaired the assembly for the first half of the five-year legislative term. Pertering's election is the result of a 2004 power-sharing agreement between the parliament's two biggest groups. Not everyone was happy with this deal. It provoked heated debate in the run-up to the vote. Pertering will represent the parliament in all legal matters and towards the outside world. A lawyer by training, the 61-year-old from Lower Saxony, has a record of tactful compromise. His advocacy of a united, peaceful Europe had its origins in childhood. His father died a soldier in the last months of World War II, and Pertering never knew him. For the last seven and a half years, he's been the leader of the European People's Party European Democrats group in Parliament. The widely differing views among some of the group members, such as the Italians and British Eurosceptics, put his diplomatic skills to the test. He has plenty of experience in seeking common ground, given the many different voices in the Parliament. Precision and detail are central to Pertering's way of working. So is the personal touch. This past Christmas, he gave each of his group's 264 deputies a copy of his most recent book, with a handwritten dedication. That's very important to me. Christmas cards not written in the sender's own hand, which failed to name the person they're meant for, well, that's a waste of time. It lacks any personal notes. The great European statesman of the post-war period De Gasperi, Schumann and Adenauer are Pertering's main references in politics. They're the men who decisively got the unification of Europe started and from a strongly Christian background. Pertering himself has become a kind of reference. He is one of a small handful of MEPs whose presence in the parliament dates from the first direct European elections in 1979. He became the assembly's youngest member. Deswegen, um Europa in eine gute, freiheitliche, soziale und soziale... Pertering prizes his privacy and is cautious towards the media, but during a short holiday in non-EU Switzerland, he took time out for Parlamento to explain the goals and priorities of his presidency. Europe for the citizens is a vital interest that the people in the European Union have recognized. The nation-state, single countries are too small to meet the challenges of today's world. We need Europe for that. Also, cooperation between national parliaments and the European Parliament is not incompatible, but complementary. They are allies working for a common goal to safeguard the identity and the uniqueness of the nation-states, at the same time leading Europe to unity, to be an effective player which one country on its own cannot be. Furthermore, we have intercultural dialogue. Today we are faced with harshly opposing cultures, especially in some parts of the Muslim world. We must not give terrorism any chance to develop. Instead, we are telling the Muslim world we want partnership, we want friendship, if it's possible, within Europe and outside it. That is our aim. No president in the parliament has had as much practical experience before taking office as Pertering. His knowledge of its complex structures, procedures and interconnectedness is profound. He has witnessed the rise of the European Parliament in his 27 years as a member and how the institution has gained confidence in the wider political arena. He has earned respect from political opponents as well. You can disagree with him, you can argue with him, you can be annoyed with him and you can rejoice with him. But one thing is always certain, Hans-Gerd Pertering will never deceive you. This is a man of clear messages 
and above all, reliable. During his time as a European deputy and group leader, Pertering's standing on the political scene gained steadily. He won praise as a moderator of the often complex opinions of his European colleagues. You have to talk to the other groups. Only he who is willing to put his reservations aside and talk to colleagues he would otherwise avoid can take Europe forward. You need to be able to do that. You need tolerance and patience and the ability to draw back a bit and not only always insist on your own position. Europe means being able to approach each other openly, it means striking a compromise, it means constant reconciliation. The group fought for reference to... As its president, Pertering will represent the opinion of the parliament's majority and will seek to further the common interests of the some 500 million European citizens while upholding the ideal of harmony and diversity. Wir sind stolz darauf, dass alle anderen Fraktionen the most important personal and political principle to me is human dignity. If you take every single human being's dignity seriously, you can deduct from that almost all political activity. Because if you do, you have to be against massacres in Chechnya, you have to stand up for democracy in Russia. And as a friend of the Americans, I should add, if you take human dignity and the rule of law seriously, then you have to say no to Guantanamo. If human dignity is to be taken seriously, then Israel has the right to exist as a secure state, just as the Palestinians have the right to live in dignity and in a secure state. Criticism of Pertering is fairly thin on the ground, but some of his would-be detractors say he is too cautious and diplomatic. But when it comes to human values, as with the annual award ceremony of the Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought, Pertering's position could not be clearer. No other European Parliament president has had as much preparation as I've had. Maybe that's a good foundation for the future and for our working together to make Europe a success. Pertering is looking forward to the challenge of finally making the European Parliament a fully equal partner with the other European institutions and member states' governments.